What is going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Steve Castro. Steve Castro, Cuzzo, Broski, whatever you want to call me. What it do, baby? So I'm back again with a brand new YouTube video. And this time it's on the Nike Air Jordan 1 Low, Lance Mountain. Bang, bang. So these officially released in December of 2019 for original retail price of $120. The colorway is officially listed as Desert Orange slash Royal Blue. And man, oh man, patience is the name of the game. I waited a long time for these and luckily the price was right. So I was able to secure them and get them into the collection. So since these are technically two different colorways on each shoe, I'll be reviewing each shoe separately. So with that being said, let's get started on the right shoe. So starting off with the outsole, we got traditional Air Jordan 1 outsole in UNC blue, and then we got a regular white midsole. The upper is composed of this canvas material in this desert ore. You can see hits of university blue underneath the swoosh along the forefoot edge and anywhere there's an edge really. Then the last bit of university blue is found on the collar as well as the Nike SB logo on the tongue. And talking about the tongue, the tongue is actually white with the inside liner being white as well. These come standard with white laces, but these also include UNC blue laces as well as standard black. So those are all the details of the right shoe. Let's move on to the left shoe. So starting off with the bottom of the left shoe, again, we have the standard Air Jordan 1 outsole, this time in a royal blue, and then we can see a white midsole. The upper is composed of the same desert or canvas material. This time, instead of finding UNC blue along the exposed edges of the leather underneath the material, we have royal blue instead. But the differences don't stop there. As you can see on the collar, the collar is black, as well as the tongue, and even the inside lining is black as well. One surprising thing about the shoe that I didn't know before was actually the color of these insoles. Uh, these insoles feature like a tribal, like colorful print, and I'm really messing with the vibes. It's a really cool look and I'm glad they added that in there. So the main reason I was interested in this collaboration between Jordan Brand and Lance Mountain was based on their previous collab from a couple years before, in like 2014, I think. They had an Air Jordan 1 High with the same concept where it was a a tearaway upper but instead of tearaway it kind of like rubbed off where one shoe was revealed to be a royal blue one and the other shoe was revealed to be a red one and they had those in both the black and white colorway i really like that aspect and i really liked how they kept things different they made things different it was kind of a cool concept that spoke to me where you could kind of like create your own shoe create your own style based on how you wore your shoe each pair would be uniquely yours based on what you did in it how you wore it and everything else so that is what first sparked my interest in these. These are the same concepts, same artists and everything. So as you may have guessed, this desert ore material actually tears away and reveals a colorway underneath, unique to each shoe. I find it cool how you can just sort of customize the kind of look you want on your sneakers. And that really speaks to me. I don't know if I'm gonna be customizing these straight off the gate. I'm gonna be making sure to wear these. As these are my personal pair, best believe they're gonna be straight on feet after this video. I'm gonna be making sure I keep you guys updated on their looks and how they wear over time. So keep it tuned to the social medias down below. But with that said, I've talked my talk. I've said all I needed to say. Make sure to stay tuned for the end of the video for the on feet look. Shout out to Bushwick Yacht Club and shout out La Familia. And I'm out. Oh, <laughs>